Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. So I just got back from dropping off Sophie at school today. You know, mom, mom things. And today is kind of a chill day, but as you can see, I have not gotten dressed or ready for life. And that's actually something I wanna do while I'm here because when I went to Texas, I was getting dressed up, I did my hair, I did my makeup, and there's a part of that that just like made me feel good. So this is really just, I'm, I just wanna get ready to make myself feel better. I do have some exciting things that will happen today, which is kinda cool, but I'll, I will get to that in a little bit. So let's go get ready. Guys, I need to go get a new prescription because I literally, I can't see my contacts anymore. And these glasses, do you know how old these glasses are? They're like, I had them before Sophia. So, they're really old. <laughs> Sophia's gonna turn eight in December. I mean, she just turned seven. Ah, I lost my contact. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Losing a contact while you have one contact on and the other one you don't, it's like the worst case scenario. But I found it, and like I was saying, I need new contacts because I can't see anymore with my contacts, and it's really hard to concentrate because it's like one eye probably got really bad. Like, I don't know. That's on my to-do list of things that I gotta get done. Anyways, I figured while I'm getting ready for my life to start, um, I figured I'd tell you guys the cheese man because because I know you guys want to know. A lot of you guys have been waiting specifically to see whether or not we're moving. And a lot of, I had so many people message me about my trip to Texas. Everyone thought that I was moving or I had gotten approved by the military to move to back to Texas. But no, that was literally, it was literally just to escape this reality. So anyways, as far as our approval on the EFMP move out of Alaska, it is still pending, okay? Yesterday, Lalo and I tried calling to see what is the update, like where is, like what the status is on everything, and we haven't been able to get a hold of anybody, so we're just going to keep bugging them until we get answers so we'll see also don't come at me because I don't know how to do makeup if I don't guys when I tell you there's been so much going on in my life it has been so much going on in my life it's crazy so since we're on the cheese med train before I continue I just want to say thank you guys for always supporting Versa Fitwear, which is my fitness apparel company. Thank you guys so much. Um, launch week was last Friday and it was really good. It was probably the chillest launch that I've had because I just feel like I've upgraded a lot on my back end to where it's just it just ran so smooth. It was just really chill. Thank you guys for supporting. I am so thankful for you guys that you are loving the products and that you choose to continue to purchase from my apparel brand. Thank you. And also, if you guys haven't, it's the first link in the description box below so you guys can purchase an item. We got the leggings, we got shirts, we got hoodies, we got hats. So, go check it out. Back to the cheese You guys don't know, but I've been dealing with a lawsuit these past few days. I can't really talk about too much about it since it's still kind of ongoing. But hopefully uh, this will pass and I will share with you guys the details on that. So yeah, so there's just a lot of um, back and stuff going on apart from parenting and owning my business and day-to-day -day things. It's just been a crazy time while still trying to move out of Alaska and deal with this whole like depression thing. Cause guys, let me just tell you, coming back after being in Texas for a few weeks, 
it's it's hard coming back like this this place is really hard for me and I and I can only speak for myself right because there's a lot of people that really like it here which you know good for them I just don't connect with Alaska at all like the energy that it gives me it's just not it's not for me and I'm struggling every single day to kind of push those emotions and like that low energy that I feel while being here just trying to move out of here has been crazy anyways um I'm gonna finish up my makeup because I struggle talking and trying to do my eyebrows and stuff so I will see you guys in a little bit See the amount of snow that is in my backyard. That's like half of the freaking fence. I am just over the snow. Like it's been it's been snowing since like October. I don't even remember when it started snowing, but <sighs> it is lunchtime. So let's make lunch. I bought these turkey patties from the commissary and I really like them because they have 22 grams of protein, zero carb and eight fat um, for one patty, which is amazing and they're good. They're like really good. Get that protein in people, that is key. Oh no. Guys, I burned it. <laughs> I got distracted and I burnt my freaking turkey. <laughs> it's like the worst meat to burn because then it dries out really fast. Oh, well, I'm still gonna eat it. <laughs> I'm about to have my, <laughs> my sad little burnt turkey patty. <laughs> okay guys, make sure you don't forget about your food when you're cooking. <laughs> This is why I don't cook, guys, because I'm not very good at it. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I was going to eat it with rice, but actually I have been loving these. Well, I've always loved these, but I just bought some the other day, the tomato and basil rice cakes. And I just love, love, love the seasoning. So I'm going to have two of these um, with the guac from Costco. Um, it's actually half of it, so not even the full amount. And my turkey. I'm gonna start a caloric deficit and like really be on top of it, kind of like my old school days that I kind of miss, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I used to be on top of everything and right now I just feel like I'm struggling. So I'm excited to get back on track and this is like me slowly introducing that back into my day-to-day -day life. So I'm really excited about it because I am ready to start seeing some results. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and eat this and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. So it's been a little bit. <laughs> so uh, it's been like maybe an hour since I ate and let me tell you that turkey was a little, a little dry, okay? But I have no one else to blame but myself because I burnt it but it happens, right? <laughs> Guys, I just did a podcast. I got asked by this guy, he emailed me, <laughs> and he asked me if I wanted to do an interview for a murder mystery that happened in Japan, which I thought was obviously super intriguing. I'm all about murder mysteries. I really like watching all those shows. <laughs> so um, of course I said yes, I would love to help contribute in trying to figure out this murder mystery. This probably won't air until the end of the year. So I'm excited. I just talked about my life living there, the four years that I lived in Yakota. Be on a podcast. Check. I gotta go get Sophie. So, let's go. It has not stopped snowing. <laughs> Why? Oh my gosh, guys, look. 
Do you see the amount of snow? It's literally all up here. Oh, guys, I didn't even tell you. Okay, story time. Story time on my way to go pick up Sophie right now. Oh my gosh, I swear I need to be more prepared for this life. Oh my gosh, this is so much snow. Okay, so yesterday I picked up Sophie and I actually tried vlogging it on my phone, but with this cold weather, it just kept turning off, so I couldn't film anything. But guys, <laughs> yesterday I picked up Sophie from school and I was like, I don't wanna go home, like let's go drive around, see if we can see moose or whatnot. <laughs> okay, guys, tell me why I got my ass stuck not my ass, not literally, but my car got stuck driving in the snow and you know what I had? I had my gym shoes on, I had my leggings and a cropped hoodie. And I was so not prepared, like we lost our shovel, the one that was in the car, we lost it. Oh shit, I'm sliding. Um, and I couldn't dig myself out. Sophie luckily had her snow gear, like the whole thing, cause she has to take it every day to school um, so she can play outside. And thankfully she had it, so she was helping me dig out the tires uh, out of the snow. And then I used the mats from like the car to get like a grip to get out and I was like moving inch by inch out of the snow. I had to call my friend to help us dig out the car. Oh my gosh, it was such an Alaskan experience that made me realize how unprepared I am for emergencies. I have the tripod set up, so just know that I'm driving safe. But look at, look at how it is driving, <laughs> um, driving here when it's snowing like do you, there's a car that's probably like 20 feet in front of me and you can't even see it like you can barely see it oh it's so scary all of my Ielsen families that are gonna be moving out here just know this is what it's like <laughs> start preparing to drive in this weather well guys, I made it safe to Sophia's school, but I have some bad news. <sighs> I think I started my period. You know, like, for all the ladies that are watching, like, you know, like, there's just that, like, feeling in your, like, in the lower part of your stomach that just kind of, like, lets you know, like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's here. It sucks because <laughs> I don't have anything. Go on the play. ¿Qué hiciste? Ah! <laughs> How is it floating? Habla en español. <laughs> ¿Cómo te fue? ¿Qué hiciste? Yo no sé. ¿Cómo que no sabes? ¿No sabes qué hiciste solo en la escuela? Hice. Hice. Hice colorear. Ok, coloreé. 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 What do you guys think? Does Sophie look more like me or like Lalo? <laughs> okay, vamos a hacer la misma cara. Sonríe. Sonríe bien, vamos a hacer la misma cara. No puedo. 
Así enojada, enojada. <risa> oh, it's so dark. Ay, es you opened it, según para ver qué veo. Wow, vean. mira qué blanca me veo comparada a ti. Ay, está bien prieto. What? Well, those hair is back to black, guys. If you saw the last vlog, which you should have. I'm still, it's still like. No. The stuff is still dripping. <laughs> oh my god, we should have vlogged you dyeing your hair back. It turned blue. So I was sitting down in my office, you know, being all professional. Just kidding. So I was sitting there, and then uh, a master sergeant was at the door and he was asking for help. Or, uh, yeah. So Mohammed, senior airman Mohammed, was like, oh, I can help you, sir. So he went, and then two seconds later, he came back. He's like, hey, you're from YouTube. And then I was like, no, well, I yeah, am. My wife is the one. <laughs> and then he was telling me that he was, I guess, stationed in South Korea. He was watching the, the videos that Pati does. And he was like, yeah, I'll let her know. And then he was like, yeah, tell her, tell her to keep doing it. So I guess he was very grateful for your videos. Kind of gave him an idea of what it's like, I guess. In Alaska. Oh. So that was, yeah, that was really nice. That definitely made my day. Yay, like, for the yeah, YouTube fam. Doing something. Okay, what did you, what did you think? I don't do anything? No, but like, okay. Great. Thank you guys for always supporting the channel. Um, I love helping all of you military families with my own personal experience. So hopefully, I don't know, you guys find this video helpful <laughs> in some way. Um, if not, I hope entertaining. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. Yeah, that it's you, really helpful. YouTube, our YouTube family is growing. We're almost, okay, I say almost, but we are almost at 8,000 8, subscribers. I should have said, like, uh, click and subscribe or something. Click and subscribe. Oh, Lola doesn't even know. Well, you say click a like or like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Oh. Just say subscribe. <laughs> Click and subscribe. I meant to say like and subscribe. Hombre, Lalo, no sabes. Que vergüenza. We don't get those often, but when we do, we're really like grateful and appreciative for like the support that we get from our videos. So, whoever you are, thank you for watching. Glad you liked the video. <laughs> on that note, if you guys have any suggestions on what you guys want to see in future videos, specifically, I guess, like Ielson. Um, comment them down below. We'd love to help transition, help you guys transition to Ielson in some way um, that will make it easier for you and your family. So, yay! We got a couch. We just gotta build it now. So we got this couch, um, it's like the Ikea couch, the one that you can like pull out and stuff. I got it because it was really cheap and well, why not, right? Like this basement has been empty for like almost two years and I figured even if we do move, like it's a really nice couch, so that's it. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. While I finish all of this um, and then I'm gonna edit this video so I'm gonna be up for a little bit <laughs> but I will do it for you guys cuz you know videos go up Friday I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up so that I know you guys like this content and yeah let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see next love you guys bye <laughs>